Comprised of five neighborhoods, it is one of the wards with the highest number of derelict and abandoned buildings. Last year, it had the second highest number of buildings torn down in the city. But this North St. Louis ward has an impressive voter turnout and is poised and ready for metamorphosis. The residents, they don't live in the 21st ward because they have to. They live in the 21st ward because they want to, because they love the 21st ward. Find out all the exciting things on the horizon for the 21st ward represented by Alderman John Collins Muhammad on this episode of In Your Ward. The 21st ward is portions of North St. Louis. Uh, from west to east, it is bounded by Van Venner Avenue to Streve Avenue. Uh, and then we're going from Lexington Avenue all the way to Hall Street. So it's a fairly big ward situated right uh, in between uh, Fairground Park and O'Fallon Park. This area is home to historic architecture and landmarks like O'Fallon Park, the Bissell Mansion, and Bell Fountain Cemetery. It is also known for its young alderman, John Collins Muhammad, who was just 25 years old when he was elected in April of 2017. The job is definitely tedious. Uh, uh, it is definitely different than what I thought it would be. Uh, but it is rewarding to be able to see the, the immediate change you can make in your community. That's rewarding uh, to be able to sit across from uh, residents and citizens and they know you're doing the best you can and they can see that. That's rewarding. Uh, so it is definitely tedious. Uh, and I don't think they're holding me to a higher standard. I think they expect a certain standard from their elected officials, especially when they put their trust and their faith in someone to bring about change. And you're okay with live. that? I am. I'm, I'm learning to be okay with it. How about that? Well, I just encourage everybody to support our alderman and support any official that you see that's trying to make the area a lot better and safer. And we support him wholeheartedly. We go to his town hall meetings, and he comes to our meetings every month. He's very, very conscientious about attending our meetings and supporting the Old Fallon Community Organization. And we commend him for that, too, because he's young, and we know that we push him because he has a lot of energy. And that's what you need. You don't need nobody tired and seasoned that, don't, that can't do too much anymore. So he has a lot to do, and he's doing a, a wonderful job. What's your relationship with your constituents? So what do they say when they see you out in the public? <laughs> uh, are you taking me to lunch? <laughs> That's about it almost. And it's different. I mean, some good and some bad. Uh, it all depends on that day, because we have very serious problems in our ward. Uh, but we are making great strides and progressing our ward as real. So I can catch a resident who will give me an earful about crime or an earful about development, uh, then I can catch a resident who is absolutely pleased with all the things that we're doing in our ward. So it's different. It's a balance. And that's why I like the most. Uh, no matter the issues that we have, we never forget the great accomplishments that we are making. And that's what I like the most about my ward. Stick around and find out what it's really like to be one of the youngest members of the Board of Aldermen and the big goals he has for his ward when In Your Ward returns right after this. Well, Thomas, you've got pre-diabetes, but with more exercise and a change in diet, it can be reversed. I've tried exercising. It, it just makes me hungry for bacon. I love bacon, too. And who really likes to exercise? Not me. <laughs> me neither. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so we're good? What? Oh, you still have pre-diabetes. Big time. Bye-bye. Hi. Hoping for a crisp breeze to help keep you alert. Oh, oh, he took a sip of water, too. That'll probably help. You were probably going to turn down the radio, too, so you could focus, right? Probably OK isn't OK. Right? If you see a warning sign, stop and call a cab, a car, or a friend. I think the water line is what really drove it home. I blew on him. Dad? Just one minute, okay? Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out?
Listen. Do clouds take naps? I couldn't tell you. Can birds draw pictures? I don't have an answer for that. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! Now tell me how you came to run actually for, uh, for Alderman. <laughs> um, I just wanted to play a small role in advancing and progressing my community. Uh, I was ready to begin a work of rebuilding uh, the community I chose to live in. And so here I am uh, roughly two years later. At 27, is being a young alderman uh, an advantage or disadvantage? Uh, it's both. It's both. I was elected at the age of 25. Uh, so my colleagues were saying, who is this young kid? And then some people were saying, it's pretty cool that you're so young and wanted to play a role. So it's both an advantage and a disadvantage. Uh, just trying to find common ground, uh, trying to work with uh, people who I need to work with, uh, whether that's senior citizens and whether that's young people in, in elementary school. Just trying to find common ground between both. Uh, some additional goals that you're working on or would like to see? Development. Uh, development of all scales, whether it's big or small. I want to see business owners come back. Uh, I want to see new housing development come up. And that's some things that we're doing now in the College Hill neighborhood as far as new housing development. Uh, I just want to make sure that we have development in my community. Uh, the more development I have, uh, the more easy it is to bring back uh, homeowners and residents. I moved here in 1964. It's a lot different than it was when I moved here, it mainly is because of the people that have moved in to the ward. We used to have more people concerned about the community and the ward, and they blocked because they attended block unit meetings, and they just kept it up better. But now we have new people moving in, and they just don't have the interest that the ones that are property owners that had. Public safety, education, and development uh, or three major components that, that's a must, bringing back our neighborhoods to what they was in the 60s, 70s, and the 80s. You know, we hear the elders talking about that all the time. Uh, I grew up over here on my father's side, so uh, I remember walking up and down West Floss and going to Wilbur's Pieces, going to the arcades, uh, having our own shops uh, that was ours. So, you know, we, we look to bring in the neighborhood back to the neighborhood being a neighborhood. Let's say you're looking through a, a glass window. What, what's ideally you'd like to see? That you're like, you know, this smile is on your face and you're saying that's, you know, like I'm on top of the world watching this. <laughs> ideally, what does your ward look like? What it used to be. Um, kids been able to walk to school uh, kids been able to stop at the local mom and pop store and buy candy or a soda. Kids just hanging out in front of the park and families barbecuing and having a good time. Uh, beautiful homes, developed homes, uh, well maintained. Uh, instead of all these vacant lots and derelict buildings that we see now, unfortunately my ward has over 500 derelict parcels and vacant parcels. Uh, so trying to turn that around and trying to make it what it used to be. There was a time the 21st Ward was home to families and business owners and some of the most prominent people in the city. And that's what I wanted to get back to. There are several initiatives in the works to help make Alderman Muhammad's vision a reality. We'll reveal the details when In Your Ward returns right after this. Well, Thomas, you've got pre-diabetes, but with more exercise and a change in diet, it can be reversed. I've tried exercising, it, it just makes me hungry for bacon. I love bacon too. And who really likes to exercise? Not me. <laughs> me neither. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're good? What? Oh, you still have prediabetes. Big time. Bye-bye. Hi. Hoping for a crisp breeze to help keep you alert. Oh, oh, he took a sip of water too. That'll probably help. 
you were probably going to turn down the radio, too, so you could focus, right? Probably okay isn't okay. Right? If you see a warning sign, stop and call a cab, a car, or a friend. I think the water line is what really drove it home. I blew on him. Dad? Just one minute, okay? Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Do clouds take naps? I couldn't tell you. Can birds draw pictures? I don't have an answer for that. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! What do you want or what do you expect to do in the coming months and years as alderman? Uh, it's all about rebuilding and rebranding. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, my ward, my community, uh, in the neighborhoods that I have the honor to represent, it's in a rebranding stage. Uh, we're trying to market our community. We're trying to bring people back into the 21st Ward. We're trying to bring business owners back into the 21st Ward. So trying to rebrand uh, the reputation that we have trying to just market and strategically reach out to people who we need to. So we are uh, doing a, a TIF funding and a redevelopment panel on Natural Bridge, uh -huh. basically to encourage business owners and developers to come back to this side of town and help us redevelop Natural Bridge. Um, this redevelopment package includes tax abatement, it includes special incentives for developers, mm -hmm. and it includes uh, TIF funding. That's tax income and financing. Uh, and we're using all these tools just to encourage some type of development, whether it's large-scale development or small-scale along the Natural Bridge Corridor. So when we look at some of the places here, what would we like to see change here? I, I like based to see on that. Natural Bridge look just like South Grand. I would, I would like to see it look like the Century West End. Just development, just a busy street filled with commercial revitalization. We've been focused a lot on this particular uh, intersection, Natural Bridge and Newstead. Okay. Uh, we just renovated a new bank right across the street, Commerce Bank. But I love this bank because it's right across the street from this library, Geo Davis Library. And I think it's a perfect partnership. People who are interested in opening up small businesses or looking for entrepreneurship opportunities, uh, they can do the research at the bank and literally just walk right across the street. And we have had this happen uh, a few times, so I think it's a par perfect partnership. And I'm glad that the bank has chosen to stay uh, in this community. Uh, on that note, let's talk about the $1 housing program. Absolutely. So the $1 housing program is something I've been working on for two years now, uh, ever since I became alderman. Uh, I got the idea from a multitude of cities. Uh, Kansas City, Baltimore, and Cleveland all did similar programs. And this was to revitalize struggling neighborhoods. Uh, so. In the city, we, we are doing the exact same thing with a one-year pilot program. We're in our city's land bank uh, under LRA. We are selling residential properties for $1. Uh, there is a process to it. The person has to complete the renovations and constructions within two years. And after that two years, they get the deed to the home. Uh, and hopefully we have a new homeowner and a new family in North St. Louis or in any other ward that will be affected by this. In April of 2017, um, the people in the city of St. Louis voted for what they call Proposition NF, a very, very small property tax to allow us to borrow up to $40 million to put roofs, gutters, and tuck pointings on buildings that can be preserved in your neighborhoods. And we will have $6 million a year for basically the next seven years to put into these LRA properties the ones that can be preserved, the one that's going to leave the biggest hole on your block in your neighborhood, the ones that can be preserved, and then we will sell them. And what that really means is if I don't have a roof on there or a gutter or the tuck pointing is no good, it's going to end up on my demolition list.
And that's not what we're trying to do. We have a beautiful, rich, historic, architectural characteristic to each of our communities, and we need to preserve that. So I hope y'all really understand what he said. Proposition NS was a ballot initiative that was passed a few years ago that basically will put roughly $40 million in investments on LRA houses, potentially the houses you guys can buy right now. So if the house needs a new roof, we'll put it on. If it needs some foundation work, we'll get it done. This will make it easier for people to buy LRA property. And that was an initiative that the mayor led along with Slaco and other community organizations. Uh, and she got it done. Uh, and I give honors where honors is due. Let's give the mayor a round of applause for that. So we have the Dollar House program uh, that we launched. Uh, you know, John called it a dollar in a dream. He said, welcome to Wakanda. So when you're walking around, and I'm talking about you, just visiting your area and walking around, what goes through your mind? Wakanda. That's what goes through my mind, Wakanda. Uh, of course, uh, the famous phrase from the, the recent film of Black Panther, uh, building a Wakanda, building a community. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wakanda yeah. forever. <laughs> building a community and a center uh, around people uh, for them and by them. Y'all feeling all right? Y'all yeah. feeling good? Yeah. Wakanda forever? Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, come on, we, we can do better than that. Wakanda forever? Yeah. Wakanda forever? Wakanda forever? That's what I'm talking about. Find out more about this young alderman's passion and his favorite part of the job when we come back for the conclusion of In Your Ward. Dad? Just one minute, okay? Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Take naps? I couldn't tell you. Can birds draw pictures? I don't have an answer for that. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! Uh, I sit on four committees in the Board of Aldermen, uh, the Committee on Public Safety, the Committee on Transportation and Commerce, the Committee on Ways and Means, and the Committee on Public Utilities. Uh, my favorite committee is the Committee on Public Safety. Uh, again, crime is a huge issue, uh, not only in my ward, but the city of St. Louis. So being a member of this committee puts me directly in front of the people who are responsible for stopping crime and responsible for making our neighborhoods safer. So it's uh, rewarding for me to see and a privilege for me to see uh, different techniques uh, and strategies they are using to help me in my ward uh, and also to help the entire city. And then one last thing, what's your uh, vision for the entire city? Unity, it will be unity. Um, we have to focus on our wards individually, but we also have to focus on the entire city collectively. Uh, understanding that each ward is unique that each neighborhood is distinct in its characteristics, but also understanding that if one neighborhood fails, then so does the other, uh, because crime does not know ward boundary. Economic development does not know ward boundary. Uh, we have to work together in unison to get the things done that we want to see that will help grow and progress this entire city. Mm -hmm.